Indianapolis say Pete the Colts spent so much time trying to catch the Patriots this offseason, they may actually have taken a page out of Bill Belichick's playbook. Instead of talking about Sunday night's eagerly anticipated showdown with New England, the Colts have said little. It's the next game, nameless, faceless opponents, tight end Dwayne Talent joked as he attempted to downplay the primetime matchup. It's just the next opponent. It's just a game. I wish I had more for you. Playing coy won't change anything about this game. Nine months ago, the Patriots blew out and beat in the AFC Championship game then had to contend with allegations that they had used underinflated footballs. Throughout the investigation, the Colts, who had alerted NFL officials to the issue before the game, didn't say much then. They still haven't. The more pertinent question is this, have the AFC South leaders actually closed the gap on their old nemesis? In the past four games, New England has outscored the Colts 189-73 to and run for 772 yards and 15 TDS. So as Andrew Luck and his teammates tried to move past getting rooted again by New England last season, General Manager Ryan Grigson looked for solutions. Now the revamped Colts 3-2 are quietly waiting for their next chance to see how they stack up against the defending Super Bowl champs. This team hasn't played that team, right? Coach Chuck Pagano said when asked about what's happened in previous games. Got no relevance? Andy has good reason not to fuel the circus that's coming to town. There's no assurance yet Luck's injured right shoulder will allow him to play this week even after he returned to full practice Monday. Pagano said he was supremely confident Luck would start against Jack Sentville and backup Matt Hassel that sounded just as confident of Luck starting last week at Houston. Luck missed both games. With or without their star cue.